Today I'm going to be showing you how to view and export your recorded video using your DNR202L. First thing you want to do is log into it. Now if you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. Now once you've logged in, you want to click on the playback tab at the top. And on the right hand side, you want to click on the view recorded files button. From there, you'll get the view recorded files window and which will allow you to select the date and time when your recording happened and the one that you want to view. So you'll notice here there's a calendar on the left. Some of the numbers are going to be in black. Some of them are going to be in red. The red indicates that there is recordings on that day. You'll notice here on the fifth, we have some recordings. You're able to narrow it down if you want to specify the particular time that you want to look for, or you can just come down to this section and manually select it. So you'll notice here on the left, there is a list of all the cameras. So each row corresponds to its recordings. So if I wanted to view the recordings for the DCS 5010L, all my recordings are right here. So you'll notice here that the recording happened anywhere between 5.30 and 6 o'clock in the morning. In order to actually narrow it down, I'm able to magnify this a little bit. From there, I would just highlight the section that I want to view. It will show up here in the preview window. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm now able to view that recording. Now, in order to export the video, what you're going to want to do is select the portion of this video that you want to actually export. Now, the way you would do that is you would just navigate to the spot in the video that you want to start capturing. And there you're going to click on this button here, which is the Q in. It'll set the Q in value here, and then you'd also set the Q out value. So if I wanted to go from there to here, Q out. Okay, so it's going to grab just a little bit less than two minutes of video. From there, I'm just going to click on the save button on the right hand side. I would select where I want to save my recordings. In this case, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I can rename the file and then click on OK, and it will then start exporting. Now, the export time may vary depending on the length that you're trying to export. And looking at my desktop, you'll see here that I have the file, which I'm now able to play back. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.